Welcome to our 2019 Hardtail of the Year test and today we're going to be looking at the thousand pound category. Now Rob, you tested all six bikes in the 1k class, so your bikes had a little bit more of a theme running through them with the tire size, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah sure, the thousand pound bikes, one thing they all had in common was they ran the 2.6 or the 2.8 tires. Yeah. So, so traditionally that would be like plus, maybe not plus, yeah, it's 3.0s, it's kind of but they're just, they're just bigger volume. It's right? kind of on the cusp really, I think the yeah. 2.8s really are like plus tires and the 2.6s yeah. are sort of like a fat, sort of normal, normal trail tire. tire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what's the advantage of having like fatter tires on a hardtail? Uh, it's just that initial bump absorption, so it's extra suspension really. So, uh, and especially when you don't have any rear suspension, yeah. you know, yeah. a, a fatter tire on the back, you can run slightly lower pressures, especially if they're tubeless. Yeah. And sort of cross roots, sort of, uh, you know, gravelly stuff, it kind of does really give you it's a lot of, some of the yeah, it just takes out, a lot of the sting it? out of it, yeah. 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 So. But like, I mean, when we rode, I mean, it was the Sonder. Yeah. Had a, I think it had a 2.8 in the front and a 2.6 in the rear, didn't it? It had the biggest yeah. tires. When you go on that rough, fast yeah, shoe, you yeah. were on, I mean, that bike was just runaway, wasn't it? Yeah, it was fantastic on the steep stuff. You yeah. know, once you throw it into something like a steep chute or whatever, yeah, yeah. you felt really confident to just let go of the brakes and just let it run. The trouble with that was, because uh, it was so slack and with that sort of big tire on the front, on the flatter trails where you want to, especially on flat turns, where you want to try yeah. and make it turn, Again, it just felt a bit ponderous and a little bit vague and a bit slow. And that was steer. a little bit about the geometry on that bike too. Yeah, wasn't it? I it think was kind so. of it was super slack, wasn't it? Yeah, the BB was a little bit high and yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah, it was great on the descents, but not so good if it was sort for of mellow, mellow for trails. All, it was a bit round. yeah. So and one of the bikes that was probably better on the mellow trails would have been the Merida. Yeah, the thing with the Merida as well is not only is it fairly short and fairly steep, it's also got quite a long seat tube. So yeah, yeah. if you're going to try and fit a dropper, or even if you want to get the seat out of the way, yeah. you're going to end up with a frame that's too small for you. Yeah, it's a little um, bit, it was a little bit boxy, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, totally. I mean, then we've got like a bike at the other end of the spectrum. You have the, the bike from Decathlon, the B-Twin. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that came, you know, on paper, that looked really good. And I was yeah. quite excited because it had a dropper post, you know. Yeah, it's kind totally. Of, so you don't have to worry about yeah. getting your seat up and down, which is, which is amazing because I think that bike was 950 Yeah, it's 50 pounds cheaper so than all the others. Bikes and so, it had a dropper, yeah. Geometry and size um, on the speed on it too. Yeah, yeah, bottom bracket was a bit low. Yeah, um, yeah I clipped the pedal once or twice. Yeah, I did as well, <laughs> especially on those sheets and yeah, stuff yeah. where you're looking to yeah, sort yeah. put a couple of cranks in between yeah. corners. But yeah, and, and the chain was really rattly. The the, yeah. the bottom, uh, the, the drive side chain stays really low. Yeah, it was really low, wasn't it? It kind of scooped down and... And, yeah. and it just just rattled its head off. It was really yeah. really noisy. But like that, but, um, but that was an amazing bike from Decathlon because we've had Decathlon bikes in this test over the past few years in different in various price points, and they've always been really old school, really traditional, like XC lightweight. And that yeah. bike's like a, that's a proper trail bike. The guy from um, Decathlon was saying yeah. that they've actually been testing it around Canic Chase yeah. and around other places with the UK yeah. riders yeah, getting yeah. feedback. They've done an amazing job. I on think it. they have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean it's, it's not that far short. It's just things like the brakes. I mean the brakes were terrible. Yeah, they, they were. They were the. Um, I think they were like the in-house B-twin yeah, brakes. Yeah, they were B-twin they? by Tech Drive, I yeah. think, and they were they were. I, I thought they'd bed in after a while. They, didn't, they just did didn't. They? There's there's a couple of at least like a couple of easy fixes on that bike. I think maybe some like fatter tires. Yeah. So it's got 2.6 Michelins on, but they yeah. were quite low profile, they were. weren't they? And that, so, that didn't yeah. help with the bottom bracket it height either. So, so you can so, put fatter tires yeah. on, raise it up, and then you need a better set of brakes. But but then there's three other bikes in this test that you don't really need to do anything to. So there's the yeah the Ragley Marley and yeah. the uh, the Newt Proof Scout, Scout yeah. both quite similar. Um, you know, on paper you look at them, it almost looks like the same bike. Yeah. A lot of the finishing. I mean, some kits, of the components were the same. Yeah, one yeah, like, absolutely the same. Yeah. Um, and to ride, it was it was quite a subtle difference between them. Um, but you kind of it's subtle but noticeable if you ride them yeah, enough. Yeah. You know. Yeah. When we when we were doing that back to back testing, I just remember thinking that, like the Marley was like super fun and really nippy and agile and stuff yeah. and then the scout was like a bit more planted more stable and yeah. you kind of go on bigger rides on it yeah it kind I, of lives up to its name and yeah. when, we yeah. were slight, when we were different in heights too mm. so like that's that makes a difference too i thought the marley was kind of shorter and more compact yeah and, yeah and the new proof was just like more modern sizing in a way it's yeah it's funny with the you know when you look at the numbers they don't tell the full story yeah, yeah, and obviously bar do. height yeah, yeah. stem height all the rest yeah, of it yeah. makes a difference but but you're right i mean the ragley even for me i'm a bit I'm a couple of inches shorter yeah. than you um, but even so, it was the bike I wanted to mess about on. Yeah, it was. You know, you, it was really fun, wasn't it? Yeah, like, you just really, want to pop I mean, about it's, on it. It's, it's a yeah. past win. I mean, this is obviously a new bike, but that bike has won this test in the past. So yeah, I mean, it's, compared it's to got the, good, it's got a good pedigree. Yeah, it's got, yeah, and, it, yeah. and it's definitely improved on the on the, on the older yeah. Marley. I mean, it's kind of got longer. It's a bit yeah. slacker. Um, single ring now rather than twin ring, and it's yeah, yeah it's a good bike. So yeah, I mean, Nuke, a new proof for me was kind of like one of the standouts really too because that's a bike you can walk into a store. 
you can check it out, yeah. you can check out the sizing, you can sit on it, you can kick your tires. Yeah, <laughs> you know I mean, I mean, that is can, one of the things with some yeah. of these direct sales bikes, you can't do that. You kind yeah. of have to like really sort of know and commit to buying the right bike and look yeah. at the numbers. But like um, this one. Yeah. Like this one. <laughs> yeah. no. So this is a winner in the 1K category. It's the Vitas Sentier. Yeah, 27 VR. Was the okay, VR. so hold on a second. What was this bike called last year? It was year? the VR Plus last okay, year. Okay, okay. Uh, they didn't yeah, feel they needed to say it was 27. But that won last year as well. It did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. so now it's 27 VR. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just to so that's just a little bit confusing. Yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah. but what's not confusing is that when we did all the bikes together, we rode them all, and then you get back on this bike every time you're like, whoa, let's go. Yeah, it's Isn't just, it, it just every made, time. I, I smashed my foot into a rock on it. I, I yeah, got yeah. that excited. I mean, it just, it, yeah, the front end's so good on it that you kind of feel like you can just throw it into stuff and it will, you know, it will deal with it. So the fork on this, it's got the debonair air spring, so it's got the bigger negative. Yeah. So the fork's like, it's more supple and it's got more support. And the only other bike to have that fork in the test is was, the decathlon was, was bike. decathlon bike, bike. Yeah, the B-twin, which... yeah, yeah. And like, it really like, you sort of ride in the forks on the nuke proof and the rag, and you think, oh, these are pretty good, these are pretty mm. good. And you get on this and you're just like, whoa, it's, yeah, this it's is, just this another, is another step level, up. It's just it? another yeah, step, yeah, especially totally. over like you know sort of roots and chatter yeah. bumps and braking bumps. It's so much smoother. Yeah, yeah, totally. You know, and you, you so t definitely feel it through your arms. You know, it's kind of the, in a fatigue way as well. So if you're yeah. doing longer rides, it's going to help. Yeah. Plus, you have just got loads more control, I think. So weight-wise, was this the lightest bike in your category? Yeah, it was. It yeah. was the, the lightest bike and also just the most capable. I mean, it's yeah. uh, it's easy to get. I don't want people to think that we've just got carried away with numbers here and gone for you know the angles and the weight. And I, the mean, rest I mean, of it I didn't know any of the numbers in no. this bike before I rode it. I mean, I no. just turned up, met you in the car park, which is, which is definitely did, the best and we, way. And we did runs and yeah. like, and I just got on it and I'm like, yeah, great. Yeah, it just feels really natural, and I think. Um, one of those bikes that just fit, you feel at home on straight away. Yeah. There's no quirks about it. It's just a really natural bike to ride, and you know, it kind of yeah, it can egg you on a bit, as I found out. But yeah, it's great, yeah, yeah, totally. Great I mean, I mean, we like in terms of the specifications, got a clutch mech, so it's like super quiet. The frame quality is really good. You got Schwalbe tires. Last year, I mean, that's they're new for this year, aren't they? Yeah, they are. It was yeah. on Maxis last year. Yeah. Um, three could, C's. It had yeah, decent yeah. tires last year. Yeah, three yeah, C totally. Maxis. So they've gone to Schwalbe. Um, yeah. Magic Mary front is brilliant. I mean, I'd, always, I'd, I'd never run one on the back, really, yeah. to be honest, but yeah, on the front got a it's brilliant. They've got a grippy compound on the front, so it's pretty soft, so you've got a ton of confidence, and then they've got the faster rolling rear tire, the knobby nick, the yeah. harder compound on the rear, so good combination. The only thing was that we found was that was that you could do with a, a tougher tire on the back, really. Yeah. Well, we did split it once, but, uh, you know, remarkably. Yeah, I mean, Benji's had the same, mm. like, with, he's got the model up from this yeah. as a long-termer, and he had the same issue with the rear tire. I think, yeah. he, I think he said he never managed, I mean, he lives somewhere that's pretty rocky. Yeah. And he said he never managed to go for a ride without puncturing. Yeah. So he changed the tire out. But, so. but kudos to, to Vitas as well for fitting these um, standard tubeless. Because, I mean, often yeah, yeah. it's something you've got to do afterwards. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, they, totally. did, they did come, yeah, you know, really good. already set up tubeless yeah. with a bit of gunking. So when we did split the tire, at least we could spin it up yeah, and, yeah. and get Sealed home. Up. So yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. Um, so was there anything on the bike that you thought, hmm, mm, not so sure? Or, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, with the Shimano brakes. So we're going to ride these bikes all year round. And one of the things that you notice is that with disc brakes is that if you've got like an organic brake pad, it's a softer material, degrades more quickly, especially if you're riding somewhere sandy, it just chews through it. So you, yeah. get, you could end up burning through a set of brake pads every ride. Yeah, easily. So one of the ways to avoid that is to run like a sintered or a hybrid pad. And you can't actually do it on these brakes, can you? No. It's, so it's I, kind of a little, there's a little stamp on yeah, the rotor, isn't there? I think it's a massive oversight because these brakes, these kind of... Well, they're not entry level anymore, but these were always the kind of entry level. They're entry level for Shimano. For, for Shimano, sure. but yeah, there yeah. are the other yeah, yeah. cheaper ones. But yeah, these yeah. are kind of, they're, they're brilliant. Because yeah, the, the lever feels amazing, isn't it? They, exactly. They're, they're, they're super consistent, not like some of Shimano's higher end brakes. So and, definitely. Yeah. I mean, Shimano have had their problems, but these these ones have always been really reliable. And the, yeah. you know, the, the levers feel great, like you say, two finger lever. Um, great feel, but um, but they've spec'd, you know, the cheap cheaper option, resin pad resin only, only this, you know, this, resin yeah, only. Yeah. Yeah. And I just think it's a shame. I mean... The way around yeah, it's, it, it's yeah. a £35 pound upgrade. Yeah, totally. You know, I mean, so. and it's not enough to detract from the overall package, but it's definitely something that you sort of think, and I think it's a worthy upgrade because ultimately it'll be cheaper than replacing organic pads yeah, all the time. Yeah, definitely. It was only the Shimano equipped bikes that had, and they were all, yeah. it wasn't just the Vitus, all the Shimano equipped yeah. bikes were on Vitus. Um, resin, Vitus, Vitus. You say Vitus, <laughs> yeah, I say Vitus. Hey, hey, look, Let's call hey, the look, whole thing off. Look, it, took, it took Danny and I. <laughs> Three years to get that right, yeah. So it's no problem. Yeah. It's no, you can just like, <laughs> like three years, man. Yeah. If I say it both ways, I'll get it right half uh, the time. Yeah, we yeah, just yeah. keep correcting each other, so that's fine. Um, um, it, all of the bikes in this category are, are they're they're fantastic. 
to make a bike that's appreciated like so much better than this i don't know what do you have to do you have to spend three grand no he's got to buy a dropper post yeah exactly. that's it exactly and you know sling it straight in it's got internal cable routing and you're good to go i mean i know that some of the bikes had um they didn't have quick release seat collars that um, was annoying and, really and well, annoying. the thing is yeah. what they're trying to do is they're trying to preempt you buying a dropper post so yeah. then you fix your seat post and you seek something down. but until you do that that's a real pain in the it ass, is a massive it? pain in the ass, yeah. Yeah. so i really like the fact that this come with a, a quick release seat collar and ideally you just get both they just throw a normal one in the box or a bolt that goes through there that's yeah. nice and neat. Yeah, and then yeah. so if you do upgrade to a dropper, you just put the bolt in. It came in your little, you know, like ditch the reflectors, yeah. ditch the bell, <laughs> ditch all those bits of stuff that you, you don't You're never want to get with your yeah, bike. Yeah. yeah, and just put a little bolt in there so you can have it like nice and clean when you upgrade to a dropper. Yeah. That'd be great, wouldn't it? It would, totally. So yeah, that's the best bike in the thousand pound class. Like, yeah, and it fourth, wasn't... It's, not, the, not, it's not fourth year in a row, like the 500-pound version no. of this bike. It has won the test four times yeah. over the past seven years. Um, so, like, it's an, it's an amazing package. So we talked about how the Marley and the, the Ragley Marley and Nuke Proof Scout were both really good bikes, but how close were they to this bike? Like, I mean, was it like, mm, I don't know, or no, was it... No, this was a clear winner. Yeah. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I, you know, I mean, we were oomin and on about the Marley and the and the Scout, weren't we? Like, which one of those? Yeah, they, they, and, and those because two, they were slightly, they were very similar but slightly different. Yeah, they, those, and then we're both like, hey, these are both great bikes. Yeah, they, they were hard to choose between. Yeah, and I would say that if you know, if you could get a go on both of them, it's probably yeah. worth doing that because yeah, yeah, it depends totally. what type of rider you are. Yeah, you know, I preferred the Scout sometimes, and I preferred the Marley, and it took yeah. me a long time to sort of reconcile which one I preferred. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it would, you know, depend on where but you ride and stuff, but, but no matter when, very close. But when you got off one of those and got back onto this... This was just, yeah, and it was kind of like, um, it's the sum of its parts. So every little improvement is, is that adds up to a bike that's loads yeah. better. You know, yeah. it's not like it's one, it's just, oh, that's, a, that's amazing. It's just yeah, everything. Yeah. The fork's better, the brakes are great, apart from the... You so know, it's the greater than the sum of its parts. It's greater than the sum of its parts, yeah. yeah, yeah. 